lovelies welcome back to my channel it feels like a while since I filmed but I got new equipment I've got a new camera hopefully you can tell the difference and I'm really excited so this is my first time using it and I filmed a autumn look for you because down here in Australia and everywhere else on this side of the hemisphere it is autumn so I'm welcoming it with big open arms because I'm sure sick of summer here in Brisbane I'm sick of melting all the time and if you're new welcome to my channel I hope you guys enjoy this look lots of love from me to you take care guys bye hello lovely so today we are going to prime our face with Nivea aftershave balm and mixing a pump of that L'Oreal Lumi primer mix it together and massage it all over the face on clean hands of course then going in with MAC Pro Longwear in NC15 because I am pale and I'm using my beauty blender to put it everywhere so as I was saying in the intro this is a new camera so bear with me as I get used to it because I found it a little bit strange I don't know why but it was different but how good's the quality you can see my pimples and all but that's what concealer is for God, I'm a good poet. So blending that, putting a lot of pressure in because you want to put that in the pores and we're going to do our brows straight up. I am outlining with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in soft brown with my Adele Flat Liner Brush. And then I'm going to go in with Chi Chi in medium brown. So this stuff is pigmented, guys, like really, really pigmented. So ever so lightly dip in, brush off the back, on the back of your hand sorry and get off the excess product and work it in I don't go straight to the start of my brow because I just found it was a little bit too dark so I was happy with my soft brown with Anastasia I ran out of my pencil devastated so let's go to our eyeshadows using the lightest color possible just for a transition color going into that beautiful orange color and popping that in my crease and blending it upwards up and up so what I'm doing here I'm gonna look straight on sorry I will move my setup next time so I'm facing you bear with me guys I'm gonna get there here I go so going in my crease and then I'm gonna look straight on on eye level with my mirror because I want to be able to see that orange color going in with that I'm gonna pop it just below so back to what I was saying because my eyelids are heavy set I just want to look at it straight on so I want you to see the trans or the second color not the transition color that orange color just so you can see it and then that next color just underneath, ever so lightly, just underneath and blending crazy, tapping off the excess as you can see. So beautiful blending, blending. I just die over these colors. They scream autumn to me. So moving on, getting our palette again and grabbing that and I'm darker going to be using color. My new favorite brush by Real Techniques. It's a new blending brush and I love it. It picks up a crap load of product, which I kind of like because less is never more in my case. So I'm just popping that below the other color as I normally do with my somewhat smoky eyes. Every color I just drop it lower and lower and going into the outer V. That brush, guys. Seriously, I think I need all there metal range and then going in with my um sigma f40 e40 sorry f40 that's for the moose um e40 to go over so there's no harsh lines because no one wants harsh lines and then repeating on the other eye so going in with this this was like under ten dollars and look at it it is so gold and glittery and it's called golden gaga like <laughs> hello you need it flat synthetic brush pick it up Kind of like scoop it because it is a cream consistency. So you kind of need to pick it up and get a big chunk and then pop it on the eye. So keep it below the crease, quite down from the crease if I were you. So then you can use that color that I'm showing with my new favorite brush. Then go over it so it's not just like you've just plopped on cream eyeshadow. So going in with Urban Decay 24-7 liquid eyeliner. And I left it a little bit open so it's dried out. So annoying. Um, this was a last minute decision to put on wings, which I don't know why I did it. But what I'm doing here, I just outlined it. Then I'm going in with the balm, as you can see, and I'm going to fill it in. This stuff is very, very matte. But I did come across a problem because I was getting glitter on 
my eyeliner, which was so annoying. Um, so yeah, I just went from the corner and flicked it up to the edge of my brow with my Urban Decay, which is very quite fine, and then filled it going in with my favorite Megan Jane. And look, ready, ready, fail. <laughs> um, going in with my Megan Jane mink lashes so i'm going to prep for them i'm pumping up my original lashes and then i'm going to put on any old mascara just ever so lightly and glue the band wiggle 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 there me and elise adhesive is very very quick drying so you don't really need to wait around a lot i love it because it doesn't sting my eyes I hate other glues because they sting my eyes and I can't put on lashes. So picking up with my tweezers, putting it on the middle, putting the mink lash on the middle of my eyes and then fixing up the corners. And oh, they're gorgeous. God, I love her lashes. Love them. And you know what? I probably use them a good 10 times and they have so much more life left. So yeah, the corner of my, I don't know about you guys, but if you curl your lashes, they kind of get stuck because your eyelashes are curly. So maybe I won't do that next time. So I lost footage, sorry guys. I've just put my Urban Decay Weightless Concealer on those highlighted areas, then my Chanel Cream Bronzers on the bronzing points. Not really contouring, I'm just bronzing, and then I'm gonna go in with powder. I just, I love this bronzer, it's just nice to put, and I only put a sheer coat of my MAC Studio Fix so I could go in and brighten. So with the base colors that I use on my eyes, I'm smoking it down on the lower lash line with my Exo Beauty Flat Definer Brush. Now, be adventurous when you're working on the lower lash line because I always find that when I am working up close with it, I go, oh my God, it's like all over my face. Like it's joining my eye bags. But when I step back, I'm like, damn, I should have done more because there's nothing better in my opinion than having gorgeous, smoky under eyes because it just it just looks so good it opens up the eyes it meets to the top i'm trying again to water my wa i'm sorry water my waterline <laughs> i'm trying to put some color in my waterline every time i go in and play with them because my eyes are so sensitive guys like uber sensitive they water up so that wasn't working for me but i'm about to give up i don't know what i'm looking for i'm burning it <laughs> Do you remember this from high school when you wanted those really black eyes? You told to do that. I'll wait until it cooled down and then I put it in my waterline. It didn't even work. Setting the face in the second lattice color from Australia's Fresh and Flawless with my Real Techniques powder brush. Look at these all new brushes. Um, and going over my T-zone and my neck. Now going in with Fawn by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So with my Mega Cosmetics blush brush, I'm going to pull that contour face and go along my cheekbones, then working towards my forehead. If you have a small forehead, skip this. Wherever you feel like you need to shrink, contour it on your face. If you feel like you have white, like a wide area near your temples, contour there. I'm very narrow, so I need to shrink my forehead and enlarge where my temples are. Going in with, and also my chin, obviously. I'm going in with my Kat Von D contour kit in the lightest color, and I'm just gonna sharpen that up. Pretty self-explanatory. I can't wait to go get this powder that's running mental online. We'll talk about that next time. Um, using my NYX blush to lightly blush. I'm really sorry, but all the names of the lip products that I'm using are rubbed off. So all I know is that I'm using 1995 and I got lip pencil and a lip gloss that matches that next time I go to Target. I will write them down for you, I promise. So highlighting with, surprise, surprise, champagne pop and highlighting just on top of the cheekbone there. I'm gonna do on top of my brow, then on the brow bone and on the tip of my nose and on the bridge of my nose as well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I promise the next one will just be very short and sweet, but it was lovely to see you guys again and let me know what you think. Till next time, guys. Bye.